What's going on guys? It's been probably almost two weeks now since I posted something car related because I've been out of town. Uh, if you guys didn't already know, if you didn't watch my last three videos, I was up in Wisconsin for the last week and a half. I've been doing a lot of skating related stuff. I was meeting up with a couple pros, getting to skate and work with them. I was meeting up with Nick, the guy that owns the company that I ride for, Atomic 7 Studio. So I just had a lot of stuff to take care of up there, plus I was visiting family and whatnot. So it was a pretty sweet time, but now back to the miserable hot state of Arizona, back to everything that uh, I don't want to be doing right now. So on a positive note, the car is super close to being done. Not that it's like a full build or nothing, but it's almost back on the road. I got the head back from the machine shop a few days before I got back from Wisconsin, and uh, that's all good. AD said it's super clean. We got a few things extracted because he got the head taken apart for me after I got on the plane found out that some more stuff was broken off in there so we had them mill the head over uh, a thousandth of an inch I think, extract some studs, put my GSR dual springs in there and my SuperTech valve seals that I got but I also have been kind of stocking up on some parts finally so I got my Rywire VTEC sub harness which kind of wasted my money on because all I really need is a power wire from the solenoid to the ECU because I'm deleting the pressure sensor because the, sol or the, get or, sorry, yeah, the solenoid that I got doesn't have the pressure sensor because this is the solenoid I have. I don't know what it's off of but I do know that it will work for my B series head so yeah it's just, I don't even know if that's not even the right sensor but it's there so I've got my power wire that's all that matters when I get the base map done I'll be deleting the pressure sensor anyway because I mean, I don't need it. I know I'm going to do an oil pressure gauge and all that crap anyway. So I'll be knowing if my car is not going to have the oil pressure. It's not a big deal. But I also was able to pick up some of my Hasport mounts. I went to Hasport uh, the week before I left and picked these up. I have the third one, but it's with the motor right now, the tranny mount. This is the rear mount, the dreaded one that I'm terrified to try and put in because it's going to be such a hassle. And this is the driver's side mount, and I got some new hardware with it, even though it's probably just like Ace hardware type bolts but yeah I got those right there so yeah these were like 250 for these and then I'm super sorry to whoever sent me because I cannot find my email or the message that you sent me but got the distributor from a subscriber so extremely thankful for that this is an OD2 which is for whatever reason what I have on mine mine was already converted uh, so OD2 distributor just got to reattach the the wire on it to have uh, my attack working so yeah got VTEC solenoid mounts sub harness and all that so all that's left all that I actually need on the car now to get it back on the road and running is I need cooling hoses because mine were all just they were shot so cooling hoses ECU converted to VTEC and base map and then a starter because my starter is shot and I need a gasket for the solenoid but yeah it should be the same pretty much all the gaskets are the same so gasket starter hoses ECU and uh, then the car is ready so hopefully I want to get it done as quickly as possible but I'm I'm going to have a really small paycheck at the end of the week because I've been gone for a week. So hopefully the next check after that, I will be able to finish it up for sure. Unless I stumble into somebody before then. But other than that, I'll give you guys an update on that stuff. So I'm going to go out to the car quick and I'll show you guys around that. So it's been a cool minute since I've been out here to see this thing. And it is filthy because it's been actually raining a little bit here in this state. So yeah, car is disgusting, but it's all good to go. Just got to throw the rest of the body panels on, which are under the tarp, but I'm going to wait till the motor's in for that. And uh, yeah, got to re-rinse re the bay, I should say, because remember I did the painting and whatnot. We got the wire tuck done. So throw a few more zip ties on the harness right here. So here's the wire tuck, just in case you guys didn't see it before. It's all done and, it's all, it's all done and said, so it's all good. So as for the interior, it's just waiting. <sighs> I just want it to be done already. We also have to finish re-splicing this because uh, when we were doing it, AD accidentally broke the connector off, so that'll be fixed though. We got another one at the shop. So I also just want to let you guys know that these shirts that I'm wearing, this is one of the new designs for Atomic 7. There's three designs total in the new ones. There's going to be a broader range of colors once the new ones are finished, but I encourage you guys, if you want to help support this channel, go pick up some shirts and use my discount code, which is ChrisAtomic7, which will also be in the description because uh, every shirt, every board, every sticker bought uh, helps me and speaking of stickers I am getting some stickers designed right now I'm trying to do some channel name ones like the YouTube button the play button and my channel name and I'm trying to get one done of an outline of my DA and 
probably the channel name too, but also just let me guys or let me know what you guys would want to see on a sticker that you guys would like to pay a couple bucks for maybe or something that if I were to do a meet and greet or something I could just hand out to you guys besides one with just my name plastered all over it. So yeah, just let me know in the comments below. So there you guys have it, quick little update. Uh, just to get you guys caught up as to where we are on the Integra. Like I said, hopefully should be done within these next three weeks, maximum. Um, but yeah, uh, so for the next video, you can either expect me to be swapping the head over, the, the B16 head actually getting it onto the block. So that'll be done this coming weekend for certain. Uh, if not, I want to try and get a video out this week. So I was thinking about just doing a Q&A or something. So if you guys have any questions or anything that you want me to answer, uh, you can either drop them in the comments below or you can go over to my Instagram, which will be here on the screen, and uh, give me a follow, drop a comment anywhere on there, and uh, make a video of it, Q&A, get them answered. So thanks for watching. See you guys for the next one. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, buy some Atomic 7 stuff. See you later.